Okay, what I will be teaching you today um, are comparatives and superlatives in French. So um, let's get started. All right, so for comparatives, you're basically comparing two things and saying that something is more um, calm than something else or that something is better than, that's an irregular form. Um, so anyways, here's how, here's how it will look in French. So um, for the comparatives, comparing two things, you will say, for example, if you want to say that he is more calm than someone else, you would say, il a flu, and then again, whatever adjective you need to use here, I'll use calm. So you can just simply say here, il est plus calm, and put a period. He is he is more calm. Um, you can also add que, so he's more calm than, and then put something else here. Il est plus calm que uh, Julien. He is more calm than Julian. So again, you can just say he is more calm. Or if you need to clarify, il est plus calm que Julien. So then uh, another one, but less than. We can say L.A. moins um, sportive. And the adjective has to agree with in gender with the subject. So you have to worry about adding E's and S's. So elle est moins sportive. So she's less athletic. You can leave there. Or if you need to say than, que ma mère. Elle est moins sportive que ma mère. Um, if you want to say um, that something is as, Whatever as you would say, for example, le chien a aussi intelligent que uh, le chat. So the dog is as intelligent as the cat. So those are your basic ways to compare. Um, there are a couple of irregulars. You could, um, for example, the, the adjective good in English changes to better. And the same exists in French. So, bien, um, sorry, bon would then change to meilleur. So if you want to say, um, like, he is better, pretty simple. You just say, il a meilleur. So he is better. Or if you want to say better than, il est meilleur que moi. He's better than me. And then just to do, you know, bad changes to worse in English. It's irregular. And so to say if something is worse than something else, uh, you would say, l a Pierre que Mark. She's worse than Mark. Okay, so um, those are examples of the comparatives. Moving on to the superlatives. So the superlatives is when you're taking it to the top. Instead of saying that he is uh, more intelligent than someone else. You're saying he is the most intelligent. So you're taking it all the way to the top. So in English, the difference is the word the. So I am the most intelligent or she is the tallest. He is the most interesting. The same works in French. You use the. So um, if I want to say, just take this first sentence here, he is the most calm, you would just simply say, il est, and you add the word the, le 
su calm. And your la or la or lay has to match your subject as well as the adjective. So to say she is the least athletic, you would just say L A la moi sportive. So the most calm, the least athletic. Um, obviously, you're not going to have a as intelligent as because you can't take that to the top. Um, but to say that something is the best or the worst, then if you want to say he is the best, simply il a le meilleur. Um, and just to show you an example of a plural, I'm going to say instead of she is the worst, I'm going to say they are the worst using l plural. Elles sont les pires. So you can make it plural if a group is the worst, the best. So um, that is your quick notes on making comparisons and um, also using superlatives in French.